How's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Wednesday night. Earthmaster here, about 11.13 p.m. here, California time. October 30th, 2024 is the date. Halloween coming up on us real quick here. Latest activity on the Earthquake 3D globe here shows a 2.1 earthquake Hawaii. Uh, we have uh, seen a number of larger earthquakes here today. Uh, one being down across the... Papua New Guinea area, six-pointer, super deep earthquake seems to have set things into motion out here uh, with a uh, trail of earthquake activity across the planet, including some movement up here into the Blanco Fracture Zone. Six-pointer coming in earlier this afternoon. Blanco Fracture Zone, uh, well off the coast, well, maybe 50 miles or so off the Cascadia Subduction Zone. Uh, it's a fairly lengthy fracture type fault here that uh, normally adds further strain when we see earthquake activity out here down across the southern end of the Cascadia mega thrust area. No new earthquake activity to report there. Uh, we are getting a little bit of movement back across the Susanville area again with a 3.1 coming into this area. Eastern back as the back side here of the Sierra Nevada mountains, the eastern side. And this area has seen a, uh, a number of quakes out here in the last week with a couple threes and even some twos out there. So still um, not for sure exactly what that's leading to, but there's some uh, some fairly shallow earthquake activity out there across the Susanville area. So the Blanco Fracture Zone, let's go ahead and take a look here at historical data uh, just to show you guys what we have. Now, this area, definitely capable of producing earthquake activity, right? But a six-pointer out here is... Um, well, let's let's go back here and see if we've had any six pointers over the years. I need to bring up the largest magnitudes here first and see what we got. Uh looks like nineteen eighty five, a six point five, roughly in that same area. Double check, make sure everything's on. Looks good on this end. Uh another six point five back in nineteen seventeen, six point five, nineteen ten. So as you can see here, uh we do get some sixes on occasion. Uh, the last one of considerable size being recent looks to be the 6.3 back in 2019, roughly in the same area as today's earthquake. A couple sixes back in 2018 there, another 6.2. So, uh, you know, earthquakes of this magnitude are not rare definitely get some earthquake activity out here and uh it's just been a little while since we've seen any significant movement out there i'm kind of curious to see if we're going to see any adjustment going on here across the cascadia in terms of elevated trimmer or elevated seismic activity here in general just across northern california or maybe the cascadia uh, not a whole lot going on here for trimmer activity tonight let me double check see what we have 99 epicenters of trimmer uh, a little bit here, a little bit there, across Oregon and Washington. That's a center portion of the, there of the Cascadia subduction zone. Going to have to bear with me. I'm still uh, not quite back to normal yet with my voice. Been uh, a little under the weather here recently. So we'll continue to watch that. Elevated activity there inland in Northern California with that three-pointer. Uh, Southern California... Got a handful of earthquakes here in the last hour across our zones that we'd like to watch outside of Bakersfield where we've seen that 5.2 uh, number of weeks back. Also Ridgecrest area and Death Valley that's been swarming here recently. Uh, some minimal movement here across the Malibu area, 1.7. That was earlier this morning though. And uh, got a little bit of earthquake activity just off the southern branch here of the San Andreas Fault. Nothing big for now. 2.5 coastal junction up here north of Ridgecrest. Uh, but in general, this is uh, looks typical for right now. Hard to say, though, if this is going to adjust further south or, you know, maybe we're just going to see elevated seismic activity up north. We'll just see how this plays out. Either way, there's been a, a decent amount of shifting going on here across the Pacific Plate following that super deep six-pointer earlier this morning that was 323 miles deep here into the subduction zone across this area no further uh, shallow adjustment going on here it's a little odd got some back building out here across the tonga trench with some further 
Deep activity, 312 miles deep for that one. Trail of deep earthquake activity into this region. So a lot of deep activity with very minimal surface adjustment here across this region today. Uh, obviously, shallow adjustment there across the Blanco Fracture Zone because that's just the type of uh, boundary it is. There wouldn't really be any deep earthquake activity out there specifically in this region. Cascadia Subduction Zone inland, yes. Uh, so with this activity, obviously, um, encircling this area right here. Could see some further uptick across New Zealand. New Zealand's right there on the plate boundary, right? And we got activity north. And now to the southwest here, well south of Australia for a 5.2, minimal adjustment going on here across New Zealand. So we'll definitely keep an eye on that with all the broad scale activity uh, encircling this whole area. A little bit of clustering going on here across the typical crunch zone. Mariana Trench, a 4.8, fairly new earthquake. Like I can say there's been a, a trail of earthquakes out here today following that deeper movement. But the strain out here all across the region, pretty much a domino effect, so to speak, when we see these very large, deep earthquakes. Japan area seen some older movement there with some fours. Some earthquake activity way north there. Um, north Northern China, it looks like. Even a little bit of activity here around the uh, Red Sea area. Maybe not specifically the Red Sea, but just off the plate boundary here in the Egypt region for a 4.3. Also, looks like maybe there's another earthquake out there. Could be potentially a dupl duplicate in that area. Aside from that, the rest of the Mediterranean pretty quiet. The Atlantic Ocean, awfully quiet. South America and the Middle America Trench. Older activity north. Some newer clustering going on here across the Chile area with a bunch of fours out there. Really nothing major going on, but... Uh, you know, things are starting to light up out here. Y yesterday and the day before, it was pretty quiet. Uh, and as I mentioned this morning, watch for some further escalated activity here following that deep earthquake activity. And sure enough, we have it all around uh, the Pacific Plate and even adjacent plates out here. It seems to stir up a, a lot of movement. All right, so we'll continue to watch that. Uh, the rest of the country out here, pretty quiet. Nothing going on through Yellowstone. But I guarantee you that six pointer showed up there nicely i want to see what it looked like on the yellowstone seismograph stations there uh wow i'm really surprised it didn't show up stronger on some of these other ones here i wonder if these stations are operable or if they need some maintenance work on them purple mountain picked it up that's that six pointer there off the coast of oregon showed up pretty nicely there on the yellowstone seismograph stations but uh yeah i'm really surprised it didn't pick up these uh Seismic waves. Picked it up over here fairly nicely. Uh, but it doesn't look like it's uh, picked up any um, you know seismic activity locally here. This is just a distant seismic wave. Has not affected Yellowstone whatso whatsoever here in terms of any type of earthquake activity. Space weather activity. Proton events finally starting to go away. That's going to be this area on the polar regions right now. Looks like ma mainly the solar... Um, or the uh, polar regions down south here being affected still by a little bit of charged protons there from the recent flaring activity. We did have a, a little M flare. M uh, looks like an M 6.6 or so. Or 7, 7.2. Let's see what Solar Ham or the uh, Solar Ham site has. Yeah, 7.2 from AR3878. That's going to be this region out. On the far, well, on the northeastern quadrant of the sun now. One of the areas I've said to mention. In fact, that was the one that I picked earlier this morning for uh, to produce some stronger flaring. The rest of these sunspots, not really impressed with them. Let me look at the uh, magnetic complexity here. See what we have. Hopefully the audio is good. I'm getting it up into the red. I I don't know. It just it's, There was a little glitch here uh, with the operating system before uh, I hit the uh, recording button uh, these sunspots here fairly stable not really seeing any further growth within these uh, main area of concern obviously close proximity of these colors indicating magnetic complexity massive area over here a little uncertain though on what that's uh, if that's going to do anything but we'll continue to watch these two areas out there on the northeastern quadrant of the Sun 
This area, though, is starting to flare again, it looks like, and it is starting to face uh, more into the Earth-directed view. And uh, it could be a source for some X-flare activity. We'll continue to watch that. 25% chance for X-flare. M-flare at 75. C-flare around 99% chance or so. Nothing major in the Aurora forecast for now, folks. We'll continue to watch that, though. Um, Storm Prediction Center. I I've seen some... Um, tornado warnings go out I, I don't know if there was any confirmed tornado reports or not today uh let's see this is for 10 30 yeah i'm not seeing anything here and this was updated again i've seen maybe a handful of tornado warnings go out and that could just be due to uh radar rotation you know and automatically the uh, weather service will put out tornado warning if they see rotation on radar uh, but it looks like mainly wind and hail reports out there, but nothing showing up for tornado reports. We'll check this tomorrow. Uh, but this was supposed to be a, a decent tornado day, but I guess that's a good thing that uh, it didn't turn into a breakout in terms of a tornado outbreak. We still have the threat going tonight, though. So just, you know, don't let your guard down. Got uh, southeastern, extreme southeastern Kansas and the northern Oklahoma, northeastern Oklahoma for the main area of concern, also surrounded by a big 5% and 2% zone here in the green for some tornado activity. Wind and hail threats appear to be the big uh, issue out there tonight as well. I, I'm guessing it's going to be a pretty noisy night out there across that area of the country. Pretty massive squall line out here. Big time thunderstorms out there. Just a massive wall of thunderstorms heading off to the southeast here. goodness <laughs> crazy i'd love to have i love thunderstorms i'm not gonna lie out here in northern california we've got a couple sprinkles whoop de doo but uh it is what it is um and tomorrow for halloween uh it's gonna linger around in the pacific northwest mainly for uh, wet conditions we get a little bit of rain it looks like this weekend not a big system here in northern california but we'll take every little drop we can get uh, some more severe weather threats here as you look into uh, the weekend and early next week across the same regions that are seeing the severe weather it's mainly uh due to a low pressure system parked over here that's going to be pulling in a moisture after moisture here reinforced by the jet stream <coughs> and that will create the severe weather concern here over the next week across that same area potential tropical system down there across florida uh we'll have to watch that this model here is way different than what it was this morning so these models can change left and right this is on the 6th of november that's only about a week out so if this weather model stays consistent like this and we start need to be we're going to have to start paying attention here uh to maybe focus on a hurricane entering into the gulf and it looks like it wants to uh hit the florida area it's weird how it just dissipates like that so we'll have to watch it um it's a little ways out there some more storms as we head deeper into november it looks like storm door hopefully will be open please i need we need some rain out here it's super dry in california look at that massive high pressure out here across the east pretty much controlling the weather patterns out here that is crazy this is more summertime type weather almost looks like monsoonal moisture coming in at in november that's crazy all right, folks, uh, seismograph stations here. Let's see what we have. Pretty quiet for now. I'm not seeing any uh, elevated seismic activity. A couple small earthquakes there in Japan. Uh, but aside from that, things are, for now, quiet. We'll continue to watch it overnight. Uh, things have been obviously elevated here since this morning's deep earthquake. Southern California, it's one of those things where... Um, we may or may not see elevated seismic activity out here. Most of the time... Um, when Southern California really starts to ramp up is when we see elevated seismic activity here in the Gulf of California work its way up. Occasionally things may kick up further south here, but most of the time we watch for activity from the south working its way up north here. Uh, but you never know. Things have been uh, pretty crazy out here today and uh, definitely set into motion. Not a whole lot there in Hawaii for now. We'll catch you guys back out here for the Halloween morning update. By the way, I'll be on the radio tomorrow. And for the local folks out here in Northern California, 
tune in to Sunny 105.7. I'll be on the uh, air tomorrow night for Halloween night playing some Halloween music. Halloween themed music. So that should be fun. A couple hours of some Halloween spooky tunes out there. Uh, again, that's for uh, Northern California. There's not a huge station out here, but it, you can pretty much pick it up from about Yuba City, Chico, uh, maybe Los Molinos area, and all the way on the west side of the valley. Uh, again, that's Sunny 105.7 out of uh, uh, their transmitters out of Oroville here, I believe. But we'll be out there tomorrow night. Tune in, listen if you're local. We'll catch you guys back out here tomorrow morning for the uh, Thursday morning update. Stay safe out there.